Hey, what's going on guys? Michael from Spruce and Sharp here. Hope you're all doing well. And in this video, we're gonna have a little fun and we're gonna look at some men's grooming products that I ordered off of the website Wish, you know, that Chinese knockoff marketplace where there's dirt cheap products. Sort of these Wish unboxing videos are kind of a big trend on YouTube. I am a little late to the game. I am not going to deny that, but nonetheless, better late than never. But we're gonna have some fun with it because these products definitely are unique to put it lightly. So we're gonna look at this one, which is called Retro Hair Oil. And there's one called the Beauty You Deserve Hair Pomade. We also have a fake Suavecito Firme Hold. And I also have a real one here as well. I'm gonna kind of show you how you can tell that that one is indeed fake. And then I also have this beard kit in this sack here. But I think you could probably agree with me. The most interesting one is going to be this one called Retro Hair Oil in this shiny red box. On the side, it says firm hold, then washes out easily with water, but easily is spelled wrong. And then it says pleasant, mild scent, and then add water as you style for a slicker look because slicker look is apparently one word. And then when you open it up, you have a product inside that basically looks exactly the same. Let's see, on the back says, you know, here's the ingredients in case you are curious what this product is made out of. And then it says benefits. This product is suitable for short hair, short, long hair, and big back, and a variety of sub hairstyle. Smear can quickly shape and can keep the hair level clear, shiny, highlight the character of men, easy to clean, after use, easy to care. Instructions. With your fingers to choose the appropriate amount uh, in the palm of the hand. In the case of keeping the palm of your hand will be evenly coated with oil and hands. Rub each other. You can directly smear on the hair. And there is a hair, I don't know if you can see it, there is a hair under the little label here. It looks like a mustache hair which makes this the greatest packaging job of all time. <laughs> when you take the lid off, there is a freshness seal, which we are definitely going to break here. Getting there. The scent, like old cheap cologne scent, kind of like Suavecito, but I sort of touched it real quick when I had to get the seal off, and this stuff is greasy feeling. It feels like a really greasy gel, that's the best way to put it. Feels weird, the instructions are not coherent at all, so definitely an interesting first one to look at. And now let's look at the beauty you deserve because you know what guys, you deserve to look beautiful. And I agree with the mission statement that men can be beautiful. So much like retro hair oil, this one's going to be extremely annoying because there's no like perforation anywhere on the packaging. Just gotta kind of like find a spot and sort of pick at it. Not ideal, but it worked. All right, so here's a moment of truth. We're gonna open up the Beauty You Deserve hair pomade. But if you wanna know anything about the product based on its label, I mean, good luck reading that because the text gets very lost. And then when you take the lid off inside, there is this very creamy looking product inside. It doesn't really have much of a scent. It kind of actually smells like, like one of those cotton scented candles, which is definitely very strange. Like. If I had a men's grooming product, cotton scented candles, that's where I would definitely be. If you shake it, it kind of like rattles around inside, which is also interesting. <laughs> I, I don't know, this one's going to be, this one's a contender with retro hair oil as to which one I may want to put in my hair. I don't know whether I want to go with the beauty you deserve or if I want the retro hair oil. But nonetheless, we will keep moving on here. So let's look at the fake Suavecito. Looks for the most part like 85% identical take the lid off, it even looks similar on the inside. And it smells like peach rings, like the candy, like the peach ring candy, like a peach scent. That's definitely nothing like the Suavecito scent at all. And here I'll even show you, I have a real Suavecito right here versus the fake one. And I'll show you some things that sort of discount this one as a real Suavecito. This is how you can totally tell that this one's fake. So right here where it says proudly, says proudly right there. It doesn't say anything else. It just says the word proudly. Well, on a real Suavecito, it says proudly made in the USA. Then also too, this one is definitely a cheaper looking label. It looks like it's sort of from a printer, whereas this one at least looks a little bit more professionally done on the real one. And the other thing too is on the bottom of a Suavecito can, they actually have the Suavecito name in the can itself, and this one does not. Yeah, but anyway, let's move on to these beard products here. Here we go, opening this for the first time. 
And here it is, O'Allen Beard Oil. There you go, you get 30 milliliters. It's 100% natural organic, the best for your beard apparently. It's the best for your beard because Wish Beard Oils are noted for being the best the best for your beard. On the back, we have our ingredients here. So the ingredients on the back, as you see, I'll let you see it right here if you wanna read them for yourself. Pretty much looks like any other beard oil. Let's take it out. Here we are. Then I'm pretty sure in here there's also a beard balm. Yes, there is. The O'Allen Beard Balm Natural Organic. And then on the back, you have your ingredients, which I have not read yet. Olive oil, I, there's like some, something else I can't pronounce. Definitely a wooden comb, at least it's real wood but it definitely feels like you will get a splinter if you run your fingers too quickly over it. I'm gonna do a little test here. Try to apply some pressure, see if this comb will break. Actually, it doesn't. It's actually pretty sturdy, but the wood feels extremely, extremely cheap. It kind of catches on the beard a little bit. Not exactly what I would call the ideal beard comb, but I guess it's serviceable if you really, really needed one and you were really too broke to spend like five dollars on one here in the u.s i don't know not really a fan of this one guys really not really not a fan of this one all right so for the video for the sake of quality content i am going to try one of these products i think you probably want to see what retro hair oil looks like i personally want to know what a retro hair oil would look like so i think we're going to go with retro hair oil so i just got to wash my hair and then I am going to use this for the first time and just do a little real time look at this product and see what it kind of styles like. I'm definitely interested and I can't believe I'm actually going to put this in my hair, but I guess I love you guys enough that I will actually test it out for you. And if I go bald, it is all my own fault because I decided to make this video. So I just finished washing my hair. I shampooed it twice to make sure it's as clean as possible. So I definitely think we have no choice but to try the retro hair oil. Let's see? It looks kind of Suavecito slash Layrite-esque. It's got that translucent orange color to it. So like I said, it kind of has that sort of oily yet gel-like breakdown. And that's definitely true. Applies easy enough though. All right, here we go. Moment of truth, gonna start slicking it back. It feels kind of like the medium Suavecito pomade. Kind of has a similar, but definitely a bit goopier, slicker. Definitely has more of an oil content in it based on its ingredients than Suavecito does. A little bit of a stickiness to it. See what kind of hold we can get out of this, what kind of style we can get. This stuff is starting to firm up a bit pretty quickly. But yeah, this stuff feels pretty slick. It's definitely slicker than like your average gel pomade. I think that's because it has quite a bit of mineral oil in it. But definitely slicker than an average gel pomade. Bit stickier too. Hold, I would say, is about a medium. Doesn't feel, it feels like it's gonna firm up, but it's not going to harden like a gel, but I could definitely be very wrong with that. I mean, it doesn't feel terrible, but it's interesting. It's definitely, like I said, kind of like an oily gel. Not something I've ever seen before, but I'm gonna wash the, uh, I'm gonna wash the pomade residue off my hands and I'm gonna try out this beard oil. All right, so now that we have the pomade residue off, here we go, we're gonna try out this beard oil, gonna shake it up just a little bit. It's got the standard glass dropper. The oil itself is this clear color here. And doesn't really have much of a scent. I guess it has like a kind of like light, fresh scent, sort of. Oh man, this stuff definitely has silicone in it. Oh wow, this stuff is definitely full of silicone. Look at that, that looks so artificially shiny. Does it say it has silicone in it? No, but maybe that's what this one ingredient I can't pronounce is, I don't know. But yeah, this stuff kind of feels like... Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash my hair and my beard again after using this. But yeah, this stuff feels like straight up silicone. Not really a big fan. Now, I didn't want to put the beard balm in, but I guess since I already put the weird feeling beard oil in, I kind of have no choice. I'm going to wash all this stuff out right away as soon as I'm done, but as you see, it kind of has this yellow, pretty standard beard balm looking color on the inside. Same scent as the beard oil, not really that detectable. Kind of like a light, fresh scent. This stuff definitely has Petro in it as well. Definitely feels like it has petroleum in it, which you do not need in a beard balm. I can see it for a hair product, but not in a beard balm. Oh yeah, this stuff has zero hold. It feels greasy. Can't believe I'm doing this for you guys. 
This is how you know I love you. That is not a nice feeling I would ever want to have on my beard. This is the greasiest my beard has ever felt by a long shot. Oh, not good. Yeah, none of these products were particularly impressive, but I guess considering the price that I paid for them, I shouldn't be surprised. Am I going to keep any of them? Probably not. Am I going to throw them out? Yes, most definitely. Did I buy them just to make this video? 100% yes. I would not buy these products for any other reason. It was definitely interesting checking out these really knockoffy, cheap type products and pretty much what you could expect, they are not very good. They are pretty average at best or very unpleasant to use. So yeah, with that said though, thank you for sticking with me through this video. It's going to be sort of a long video, I know, but I am going to go submerge my head back into the bathtub and wash my beard, wash my hair. My hair is going to feel like absolute garbage at the end of the night because I have washed it so many times already. But nonetheless, it was all to make this video happen, so I guess it was worth it for all of you. But if I start going bald, I, again, blame myself for putting these weird products in my hair. So yeah, with that said, you all have a good one, and I will see you soon with another video that is not a wish unboxing.